Ừ Hay hay Um uh, 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 Test 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 <cười> Hi hi how's everyone doing Super. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. That's good to know. Hi, Natsu. How are you? I am okay. I am okay. I'm doing. I'm doing okay. This game is good. <laughs> oh, my microphone peaked. Oops. Maybe I should turn it down. There we go. Maybe that's better. I didn't even start the game, but I, I, I just remember how good it is. <sighs> I'm, I'm here alone today. Um, yeah. <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> everyone that's in chat right now knows what the fuck happened. <laughs> so I will be having to do 16 voices or more. I don't know how the fuck to do that. <laughs> hi, hi. Easy mode for a loot. It could help if I was free. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll do this, I'll be good, don't worry about it. <laughs> I just, you know, I... If I want to do like more of this stuff, I don't know. I might have to find more people, like again, more YouTubers and stuff to to you know like work with. Uh, you know, I I always like to talk like really openly. Hi, hi, Rainbow Bree, Rainbow Bree. Sorry. <laughs> hi, hi. I'm I'm okay. Uh, I don't think I've seen you here before. Are you Tox? <laughs> I... Uh, huh? I'm... I'm confused. Hold on, hold on. Let me... Are you in my Discord at all? Then maybe I could figure out who you are. Oh, oh, you're you're that. Oh, okay. Akari, okay. I don't. Are you still in my server? I thought you like had some troubles or something and left. Like made like a different account or something. You just like disappeared. Sorry for being stuck on the title screen for a second. <laughs> is, is the audio okay at the moment? How have you been, um, Akari? <laughs> yeah, it really has been a while. I have no idea. Like, vanished. Uh, hold on, hold on. I need to, um,. Make sure my, my fan is blown because it's really warm in my room. Let me just, uh... <laughs> one second, one second. I made the chat box like a little too big, but it's like, eh. Oh well. I can't really change it. I can move the text up, but I, I I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should. Anyway, 
Let's let's start let's start playing this this um I'm weirdly quiet? How am I quiet? I, I shouldn't be quiet. How as are you sure that my my is it my audio that's quiet? Like am I quiet? Is my voice different? Is that what you thought? If that is is that what you're trying to say? I don't know. You have your volume pretty loud. Uh is it Twitch? Is Twitch's volume? Chat box is fine. Audio is good, okay. I am I am good though, don't worry about it. The the okay, um So since you disappeared, Akari, um there there's there's been some things that happened. Mostly uh I'm basically alone right now. I don't really have many VTuber friends at the moment. Um yeah, perhaps. Perhaps it's on your end. I'm not sure. Anyway. Um, basically, most of my VTuber friends just kind of, you know, vanished as well. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's basically it. I mean, I, I have to like rebuild basically since I started... Um, well, I, start, I tried to start a group and the group just fell apart and it's like, yeah, okay, everything's everything's been going south, but everything should be going better, maybe? <laughs> In any case, I'm fine, but, um... Oh, wait, wait, you weren't here since the overlay? Wow, okay, it really has been a while. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Uh, I debuted it. Been a hot minute. So you haven't seen the overlay. Does that mean you also haven't seen the model? Because I... Ah, oh, fuck. I, my brain. When did I debut again? Was it November 12th? Or was it December 12th? I don't remember. My brain is muzzled. I should've, I should've, you know, remembered. It was December. Okay, okay. Damn, not not long has passed since then, I suppose. Huh. I guess I only have debuted it for two months. Well, three, kind of. I remember seeing it saying in the Discord saying you debuted it. I haven't caught the stream. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. Are you in the Are you in the Discord right now though? Because like I really don't see anyone that you could that could be you. Honestly, I I mean I don't know. Hm. Yeah, no, I don't see anyone. Uh, let me go back and check. Not right now, but you can go into it. Oh, if, sure, if you want to. You don't have to though, you, but you can. <laughs> let me start the game up as well, so that at least. There's something different going on in the background. They say the impossible. Wait, impossible is a word that's only found in a fool's dictionary. Of course it's impossible for us to use a word that's not in your dictionary. What the fuck do you even mean? If someone can actually make the impossible possible, you could truly call that person someone who doesn't have the impossible. Okay. My brain. It's already molten, and I've only just started. Nutty game, nutty game, nutty game. I slowly and awkwardly sat up in my bed. You accidentally left the disco. Oh, that 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 can explain. Both my head and my body felt heavy, but it was still an improvement compared to last night. We all said we'd meet at the restaurant. Wait, wait, wait. They joined with an account, got walked out of the account, made a new account, and joined again. That explains it. Though, I remember you saying something, and I was like, wait, but why? And then, and then, I tried to DM, and then, Nothing happened, so then you were just like, gone forever. Everyone is at a resort island now. Well, yes, Lamp. Didn't you see the 
the little streamy thingies, like the streams before. Haven't you seen, like, I did two streams on this already. Lamp. Do you have to watch the VODs? Oh my god, Lamp. But there were two VODs though. They're, the VODs are in the thing. There's VODs in the... Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Spooks. Also, I should probably remove some of the redeem options because you can't... I mean, I guess you could redeem the song. But then I'll have to like... Swap over to my room instead for a second. Hey, okay, fine, never mind. I don't think any redeems should be impossible right now. Hmm. Hi. Oh, come. Ooh. Back in the Discord. Yes, yes, yes. Let's leave the house. Okay, so. Um. You didn't really miss too much, Lamp. Basically, it's just, uh, we're a bunch of people. Okay, let me, let me go over here and then look at the report cards. Okay, so then we can see everyone's talents and shit. We don't know our own talent. Um, so we don't know our own talent. Wait, am I? Okay, I'm level 69, of course. We don't know our own talent. Uh, my name is fucking Hajime Hinata, that's all we should know. Uh, how do I- oh, QE. Okay. This guy is fucking funny as fuck. I love this guy. He is ultimate lucky student. And his talent of being lucky is insane. He is lucky in the weirdest ways possible. I love this. Yeah, you remember him. You ended on 69 last time. This guy, you know him, he's Byakuya, but fat for some reason, but it will be explained, don't worry about it, it will be, it will be explained why he's fat, don't worry. What? Yeah. <laughs> this guy is ultimate breeder, he's kind of weird. This guy is a mechanic, this is a cook. <laughs> he's also kind of weird, I don't like him, he's perverted. This guy is the ultimate team manager, uh, but he's also really strong himself. But that's because he has to be strong to be a team manager, I guess. Likes freshly washed towels. Okay, lazy people. So he hates me. Okay, good. This guy is, uh, you know, a Yakuza. Uh, he's from like a, a big Yakuza group thing. Neku, neku, neku. And this, this guy is, uh, this guy here, yeah, I mean, wait, never mind, this girl, <laughs> I thought I was telling this guy, uh, this, this girl is uh, a gymnast, a uh, gamer, princess, traditional dancer, this, this girl is, is a pest, she's annoying and, and rude, but I love her, <laughs> and she's, she's a photographer, not a nurse that is like very, um, unsure of herself, Musician that is like way too, you know, energetic, and this is just a swordsman. Swordswoman. And, uh, well, I mean, if you, if you will catch up on the VODs later, you will, you know, you will figure out more stuff, like, you will figure out all the rest. But basically, there's nothing much important going on right now. Basically, the killing game just started. Um, very to be popular in game. What do you mean? Oh, friendships go bird. <laughs> nice. Yoko isn't in this game. Neither are the other people that uh, survived. Which is a spoiler, but I mean, I did stream the first half of this, you know, of the series half. I don't think it's half, but whatever, it doesn't matter. The first game. I'm not gonna talk to everyone, I'll just talk to some people and then skip through to the actual story. Jeez, I'm so sleepy. Mr. Hamhands is so selfish. It's totally fine to spend the morning sleeping in. He's talking about the fat guy. 
But we need to eat. Like, if we need to eat breakfast anyway, what's wrong with eating it together? Mm. Well, I like to spend my breakfast eating sweets in my room. That's already fine. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, um, eating sweets for breakfast is bad for your health. You're consuming too many sugars and fats. Who nah. made you my doctor? Don't speak to me without my permission. <laughs> wow, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jeez, just listening to this ugly bitches crying in the morning makes me so sick. Yeah, but you definitely have the ultimate bad attitude. <laughs> Going into a plane tomorrow and bringing a Nintendo Switch to play Stardew Valley on the flight. Wait, need to find a charger. Oh, okay, that's neat. Also, nice charger. That's the only person I'm talking to. I don't care about the rest of it. I hate the Stucker Blue shit. I love her. If you do like the, the free time events with her, you'll start to like her too. But I mean, I already did all of them, so I'm not going to do them again. Several people were already at the restaurant. But nobody was talking, not a single word. Oh. Drown. Okay, I'll drown. Hi, Sharky. Heh. It's been a long time. I don't remember most of the people. <laughs> I'm surprised people are still watching my streams anyway. While they sat there, the people who were late began to arrive as well. Is everyone here? Huh? It seems Fuyuhiko isn't here yet. <laughs> Maybe he already got killed. Fuck, I need to talk to my parents. Okay, sure. Go out, take your time. Yeah, a dead body's already? Yeah. God damn it. He stabbed them. No. Don't worry about it. Don't go killing people off. I saw him outside earlier. However, he told me he would not be joining us this morning. <laughs> Why does he have to act like a lone wolf at a time like this? Could he... Is he thinking up a plan to kill someone by himself? <laughs> Kazuichi, you should not doubt your friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he has a Yakuza, isn't he? Do you, do you understand what that means? He's part of the Japanese Mafia. Okay. Have a good lurk, Sharky. <laughs> I presume he's the kind of person who would not come even if we summoned him. I guess it can't be helped. We should just talk among ourselves. Someone can fill him in later. The Irish guy. I just made him Irish. He's not actually Irish. Talk? What are we going to talk about? Rejoice, I have decided to throw a party tonight. Huh? A party? So. That's right, a huge party that will last from sundown to sunrise. A <laughs> party till the sun comes up? Just so we're clear, I will not allow any absences. Your attendance at this party is absolutely mandatory. Huh? Hey, now is not the time to talk about stuff like partying. <laughs> On the contrary, there is no better time than than this. Jesus Christ, I can't speak. Mm. But still, we really shouldn't be partying. Okay. Um, hold on. I agree with Vyakuya. It doesn't it doesn't do us any good to stay bummed out like this. Mm. In fact, because of the situation we're in, it's probably best if we all strengthen our friendships with one another. <laughs> That's what you thought too, right? That's why we want to throw a party. <laughs> it doesn't matter why I'm doing it. Anyway, it is of vital importance that we all stay in one place tonight. You say that with such significance. It is decided. We have we are having ourselves a party. It, even so, I'm not sure if it needs to last all night. If I thought that, I would have made that clear from the beginning. I, I'm terribly sorry. I'm so so sorry for trying to meddle with your plan. It's important to f be flexible in situations like this. Perhaps a diversion from all this is just what we need. Yahoo! Then let's party hard! Ooh. Ah, in that case, I'll put my amazing cooking skills on the on display for you guys. Mm. <laughs> Where's the party going to be held? Would this restaurant be okay? 
No, this won't do. We need a location that's impervious to interference from outsiders. A place even Monokuma cannot enter. What we need is an enclosed space. An enclosed space? Uh, fuck, I forgot the voice already. If a restaurant won't do, then neither will the lobby. No, that's not the voice. That's not nearly enclosed enough. My brain. My brain is- it's hard doing 16 different voices. Nor will the cottages. With so many people, we would all be pressed up against each other. <laughs> but if you want to be pressed up against each other, then a cottage is clearly the best choice. <laughs> Pressing up against ladies without sneaking aboard the woman only train and drag. I feel so lucky. I can't believe how comfortable you are with saying this, your perverted thoughts out loud. Mate has the entire island on lockdown. You think he can't see? Uh, yeah, you make a good point, but you know. He couldn't also, like, not see certain places because of the cameras and shit. <laughs> I may be a pervert, but I'm the kind of pervert everybody likes. <laughs> Your confidence is seriously impressive. Mm. Then how about that old looking building near the hotel? Mm. That rundown place? So yeah, but if we do our best to clean it, I think it'd be perfect. Disgusting pervert. That's you're saying that, Natori, please. Plus, it's basically our the only place that meet, meets our needs for an enclosed space, right? What were the last two words? I don't remember. Fuck, my brain. Indeed, however, Monami has forbidden us from entering the old place. As I recall, it's in the middle of being re renovated. I have heard your conversation. He heard. Wait, fuck. Heard it with all my very own ears. God dang it. Ahem, I have good ears, because I'm a rabbit. <laughs> oh, so you use your ears. That's strange. Oh, fine, I'll. Oh. I'll, I'll, I'll pair for you. Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Is that good? <laughs> huh? Then what's the reason for those surveillance cameras? Are they for Monokuma's eyes only? Pervert everybody likes instead of pervert that everybody that likes everybody. Uh, that's far fetched, spooks. Cute. Yes, no, you're cute. Ah, she looks so disappointed. Well, it is of no concern. We can st settle that issue another time. Regarding that old building, you came to tell us something about it, right? <laughs> yes, if it strengthens everyone's bonds with each other, then I will not hesitate to cooperate. So in that case, I will allow you to enter the old building. I'll cooperate so we can all party together. Together? That's not gonna happen because you're so disgusting. Do yourself a favor and stay away from mirrors. You'll be grossed out by what you see. Ugh, oh, your kind words make me cry. <laughs> um, so we're all good with the old building? Then what about the preparations? If it's in the middle of a renovation, don't we need to clean it first? I have never done the dirty work known as cleaning before. I'm excited to finally experience yeah, yeah, yeah. it. No way, there's no way we can dirty our hands. Or wait, our dear princess's hands. Uh, yeah, I don't want to do it either. What, nobody's going to do it? In that case, why don't we decide by a random drawing? Random drawing? <laughs> To be honest, I already prepared a drawing because I assumed something like this would happen. You f Sure, of course, I- mm. To go to, through the trouble of preparing this, just what did you think would happen? Same. Whoever draws a chopstick with the red mark on it will be in charge of cleaning, okay? Does that sound fair? Same spook, same. Well then, let us entrust our destiny- wait, destinies to the whims of this drawing. Yes. Well. No hard feelings. One by one, everyone took turns pulling the chopsticks that Gito held in his hands. And when it all was said and done... Huh? 
I'm left with the red mark? <laughs> For someone called the ultimate lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now. <laughs> mm, I guess it can't be helped. Yes. Well, if it's just cleaning, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. <laughs> I thought so. You seem like you'd make a good stay-at-home dad. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Okay. I'll handle the cooking. Alright, first I need to prepare my ingredients, then I'll start cooking at the old building. I, Teru Teru Hanamura, will go all out. I will prepare the world's tastiest dishes for you all. Then I just need to pass along the party details to Fujihiko. <laughs> Let's go about our business then. After Monokuma's nightly announcement, we'll meet at the old building. After everyone left, I decided to go back to the cottage. There's still some time left before that party. Blah 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 blah. Alright, I don't know how many free times already happened, but um... You know, I don't remember that, that's just all. But uh, let's go check the map. To see who we can talk to. I don't know who I want to talk to. I have no idea who I want to talk to. Let's check the report card first. Okay, so who... I finished Fuyuhiko, this guy, this guy, and... Wait, no, this guy, this girl, and this girl. Jesus Christ, my brain. Um... I guess I was talking to Byakuya? Hmm... Let me check for a second. Oh. Alright. Let's go... Let's go look around, because I'm not sure... I'm not sure who's actually, like, available to talk to at the moment. So, I'm going to look up, look up who is available to talk to. Okay, availability. Okay, I can talk to Byakuya twice. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I mean, I should be, I think, maybe. Maybe once? Maybe twice. I'm not sure. So let's go to Byakuya. Where is he? Oh, right there. That wasn't hard at all. One second, one second, let me check if my stream's doing fine, because I don't know, my model's somewhat, sometimes stuck, so I need to check that sometimes. Anyway, okay. Who is it? What's up? Iga. What's the point of searching for what this means? We should be searching for a way to safely escape this place with everyone. What should I do? Yes. <laughs> I will continue to search for clues, but I won't stop you from following me. Sure. Let's give him a present. Let's give him... Some chocolate chip jerky. <laughs> Where did you obtain this? This masterpiece couldn't even be found by the collective effort of my... Togami Cooperation. <laughs> I'll be keeping this. <laughs> what did you want to talk about to me about? Uh, I didn't say anything. I can tell just by looking at your face. You need my power, right? As a member of the Togami family, I'm in a position to guide weaklings. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no need to hold back. Come, try me. If you insist, well... It truly acts like Byakuya, but I don't know, he seems not Byakuya. Huh. Hold it, there's no need to say it since I already know. I share your dissatisfaction. No, I wasn't really trying to talk about my dissatisfaction. Yeah. If I lived like a beast, I would not be dissatisfied, dissatisfied living on this island. However, I am a creature of intellect. I'm a modern person who lives in a new era. Hmm. There's something important missing from this island. 
You should also know what that is, right? Something important missing from this island? Wait, why am I being quizzed all of a sudden? Of course, there's many things that could be that it could be, but I'm pretty sure Byakuya is probably talking about fast food. There's no way he's not talking about fast food. Don't worry about it, Ramboobri. <laughs> I know it's 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 Ray. Don't worry about it. I know it. I'm just being silly. <laughs> could it be fast food? That's right. Don't you think that's strange too? Despite all these facilities, why don't they bother to build even one fast food location? That's true, but I'm surprised I never figured you were the type to eat junk food. I mean, a <laughs> foolish. You, your shallow beliefs are typical of an ignorant commoner. You don't have to go that far. Eka. Do you know how much the body fat percentage of upper class increases every year due to fast food? From Hollywood celebrities to presidents of industry. <laughs> Even Bill Gates is fascinated by that clown with an afro. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> That's, that's, okay, sorry. <laughs> that made me laugh a little bit too hard. I truly am the ignorant commoner. I used that title with pride, you beast. Also, it is common knowledge that many professional athletes eat, eat an unbalanced diet. What the fuck are you talking about? Damn, if only this island had some means of communication. Ronald McDonald. Yeah. I would have various fast food companies establish fran franchises here, including the Afro Clown, the bespectacled Kentucky Colonel, and the red-haired girl with pigtails. I don't really understand, but he's really passionate about this. What's m what's making him so driven? <laughs> you will probably never understand, huh? You always find the same things waiting for you whenever you go. You'll never know what relief what a relief truly that truly is. True spooks. For someone like you who has lived a fortunate life, you'll never understand. Fortunate? That sounds like I'm better off compared to Gyakuya. <laughs> oh well, if there's anything if there's anything worrying you, just let me know anytime. No need to hold back. Good day. And with that, Gyakuya left, but he totally didn't listen to what I wanted to talk to him about. More importantly, what did he mean that I'm more fortunate than he is? Fourth grade concept? True, true. Okay, it's still day, so that means I can talk to this same person again. I was almost like, wait a minute. Because it was, she, he was talking about, you know, taking a walk and I was like, wait, no. I don't want to take a walk. Not at all. He went on his mon monthly exercise. I don't remember where the fuck he went. Oh wait, is it the convenience store? It's probably the convenience store, right? Airport rocket punch market. Yeah, of course. He's going home hyperventilating. Yes, exactly. He's running. Look at him run. Fancy boy. Lamp, are you still here? <laughs> Despite the fact that they were prepared for the party, I shall enjoy Terry Terry's dishes as well. Does the ultimate cook still uh, ultimate cook's skill surpass that of the Togami, Togami Corporation's Jeff? Chief? Jeff? Whatever. It's it's just a, a school outfit, a high school outfit. <laughs> Are you interested in the dishes prepared by my company's personal chef? No, that's not what I'm talking about. Yes, let's give him another present. Also, Lamp is gone. Lamp, you...
Reminds me of a verse from a fan-made song. Okay, um, oof, I was just thinking that I wanted this. Are you stalking me or something? Ika. Listen well, there are three types of effluent progenies in this world. Despite their intelligent intellect, sorry, there are useless progenies who have only their smarts. Despite their good looks, there are useless progenies who only have their looks. <laughs> but the one who is superior in both aspects is the most powerful affluent progeny of all. Pyakya Togami. I, I see. And I thought he was making a grand introduction, but no, he was just boasting. Yorokobe. Hajime, I will tell you and only you the secret of how the Togami family has prospered. Are they prospered? <laughs> it is based on a special hereditary system. The head of the Togami family doesn't have a wife. Instead, he has countless children with excellent women throughout the world. Okay, that's... thank you. Embraces her in pain. Nice. <laughs> don't... don't... don't suffer too much. Who dresses... Uh, Wait, to the ninth? No clue? That's a disguise. I don't- I don't want to read that. I read it. I shouldn't have read it out loud. <laughs> the children are forced to compete with one another, and who remains standing as the winner <laughs> will become the next head of the Togami family. You mean the kids all have to fight each other? So during my time, 108 of us, boys and girls, fought to become the next head of the Togami family. 108 people? No, um, most of the people that were in my, in my, uh, group also liked the Dream SMP shit. Um, but you know, they, they all disappeared because, you know, they all don't like me, <laughs> I guess. 108 people? Were they all your siblings? <laughs> That's right, and we were ranked based on our strength. The most powerful affluent progeny is gold, the one that's the one below that is silver. I was ranked the weakest of all, bronze. Ika. I am only. But in the end I defeated every last one of them. I even defeated the affluent progeny of darkness. And from there I finally reached the top. <laughs> it was the first time in history of the Togami family that bronze won the way won their way to the top. That's amazing. Wait, no, not 128, 120. Wait, 107 siblings. Because he has 108, you know, there's 108 of those children. That's amazing. Well, it's not like I know if it's true. But if it really is true, I definitely would have run away at some point during the middle. <laughs> it's the history of a battle that will continue for many ages. Isn't that horrifying? And now, Byaki Togami is standing atop that history. <laughs> How about it? Isn't it amazing? As expected of the Togami line, right? As expected of Byakuya Togami, you mean? <laughs> hmm, compared to any other person, this was the most absolute resistance I'd ever seen. Huh? Sorry, I might have misspoke then. There's something strange about what he said just now. Hajime, if... If by any chance... <laughs> You could become the uh, anyone other than yourself. Who would you want to be? Anyone other than myself? I've never thought about it before, though, but I'm definitely fine with who I am right now. I'm more focused on what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> it's not 240. That's not what I said. I see. That's perfectly fine. Especially if that's the real you. <laughs> it was quite a nice way to kill some time. I thought he said kill someone. I was like, wait, what? After he said that, he turned and walked away. I was struck by how lonely he looked when he was back to me. What did he mean by what he just said just now? I feel like I'm starting to get to know Byakuya better, but I feel like something's missing. Even if it's impossible right now, there might be a day when Byakuya is able to tell me with his own words. Honestly, it do be a little sus. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lamp, are you here or am I streaming for no one? Kidding. Byakuya wants to be like his hero, Makoto. <laughs> Alluri? What's up? <laughs> hey, I made a joke, okay? I made a joke. Good night, he says. 
Whatever, I'll have a party to attend to. Alright, time to go to the old building by the hotel. Yeah, right. Alright. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah? oh, are you also here for the party? Why else would I be here? Anyway, what are you doing at a place like this? <laughs> Crick's eye. <laughs> I'm doing a little exercise. I can enjoy all the yummy food we're gonna eat. I'm excited to eat Terra Terra's cooking. Yeah, especially since he's the ultimate cook. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your useless time here. Oh, yeah. Let's go in. Why is everyone here a foodie? Because food is good. I love food. <laughs> what do you mean you don't like food? <laughs> so this is the old building. Compared to the hotel, it definitely looks worse for wear. <laughs> You're here. Now then, stand up straight and raise your arms. Why do I have to do that? <laughs> because I need to do a body check. A body check? Since I'm the only one hosting, since I'm the one hosting the party, it's necessary for me to take all possible, all, all possible security measures. Eka. I love the old building. It's cute too. I love log, log cabins. I already promised that I would not allow even one person to become a victim. I, I, I get it. You like the Luke? Oh, <laughs> I was like, wait, what? What do you mean? I thought you misspelled lewd. I was like, wait, what? And so I reluctantly raised my arms and stood up straight. Yakuya went ahead and thoroughly searched me, starting with my legs and working his way up. That's no, kind of no, no. okay, honestly. Me too, me too, Ray. It appears you haven't brought any- wait, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it appears you haven't brought anything dangerous. <laughs> of course I haven't! Very well, I shall allow you to enter. Mm -hmm. It was at that moment that I noticed a strange item near where Yakuya was standing. Wait, what makes you uncomfortable? Metal cases? Nanda. They're aluminum, actually. I found them at the supermarket. This one is used to store any dangerous items I find during body checks. The other one is for... Hmm. Well, let's just say it's for emergencies only. What do you mean, emergency? Don't worry about it. The others are already here, gathered at the dining hall in the back. Go there and wait. As soon as he said that, Byakuya turned his back to me. I guess that's the end of our talk, but he's so cautious, I didn't expect him to perform a body check. What did he mean by emergencies only? I mean, that's the point of this game, you have to think about these things, because everything is, uh, you know... Everything can be sus. Let's go to the bathroom. The bathroom appears to be unisex. I don't need to go now, I need to hurry over to the dining hall. Okay, fine. Hi. Are you gonna take a shit? Huh? There's a tantalizing aroma wafting from the kitchen. Wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> There's a tantalizing aroma wafting from the kitchen. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do this voice. <laughs> However, Byakuya will yell at me if I don't go straight to the dining hall. You should head over there as well. Don't worry, Spooks. Jesus Christ, you keep talking about everything. If that if he goes, he can't go rogue because if you kill more than you know <laughs> two people, you get executed. Your voice for him is great. No, it's not. It's, her it's terrible. Ah, uh, Hajime, how do you like it? What do you mean? See, I decorated the whole dining hall for the party. I even laid out the carpet too. Really? Even the carpet? <laughs> True, Ray, but I was gonna do that regardless, probably. Man really went all out, yeah. Mm. Yep, I brought it from the supermarket. That place sure does seem to have everything. <laughs> I actually wanted to cover the whole floor, but I guess the carpet wasn't big enough. 
There was a lot of dust and cobwebs all over the place too. It took me all day to clean the dining hall just because of that. There's no way I could handle being stuck cleaning the whole day. You're really commendable, Nagito. Arigato. Yeah, thanks. It's nice that there is an air, condition, but air conditioner, but the filter might need to be cleaned before we turn it on. I don't know what to do. Do I leave? Okay, fine. I'll talk to people. Or look at food. There are lots of fancy food, uh, fancy looking party dishes on the tables towards the front. Hey, what's up? It's pointless. She's completely focused on the food. Wanna take the chase? This old place sure is run down. I feel bad Nagito went through all this trouble cleaning it. Hi, Ellie. Even cleaning has its limits. See, check out the floorboards. Maybe the witch rank because of the deterioration. Don't these openings seem dangerous to you? You're right. Aww. Well, the carpet is spread out enough to cover most of the floors, so I guess it won't be that big of a deal. But it might be the best to tell Nikon to be careful. Yeah, she is the type to trip over nothing. Where is she? Oh, she's, she's not here. Okay. Let's talk to this bitch. Himo. Oh, where are you? Where are you, Ellie? Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. That creep Yakuya ripped his man hands all over me and I called it a body check. More like sexual harassment. That's not what it is. He did the same thing to guys too. So? I feel like he was getting frisky while he was frisking me. Eh? Yeah, I'm pretty in demand, you know. You're just kidding. <laughs> I love this girl. <laughs> Fucking idiot girl. I'm worried about Monokuma showing up. If he finds out we're having a party, there's no way he'll leave us alone. What happened? What happened? Who did it? Oh, thank you for following General Grievous. Oh, and now I'm drowning. Okay. Thank you for the drown. Hi, hello, how are you? Doing good, doing fine. If he finds out we're having a party, there's no way he'll leave us alone. We gotta do something about it. You're right, we should do something. I wonder if someone can do something about it. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> so we're on the same page then? I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> wow, okay. Incredible. Even though that man is a lonely, lonely worm, it appears his cooking skills are most impressive indeed. Nevertheless, even his food cannot stand the gourmet, gourmet cuisine of multi the multiverse. Jesus Christ. I can't speak. Man, that was so uncomfortable. Getting groped thoroughly by a man, that was my worst nightmare. Oh, you mean the body check. <laughs> Plus, he got super pissed and started yelling at me when I when he noticed I had a wrench with me. Seriously, how friggin' annoying. It's your fault for having a wrench in the first place. Ah. I just happened to find it at the airport. Carrying it around calls me, calls me down. Oh, that's garb. Yeah. True, true. But Byakuya put it in that Duralaman case of his. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know how to pronounce that shit. Iron plate. Iron plates? That reminds me, I saw something similar. Some similar looking iron plates in the hallway too. But why are there iron plates bolted onto the walls? All is not what it appears to be. Eh? One of my four divas, Supernova Silver Fox Sun D, has seen what lies shrouded amidst the darkness. Through that iron plate appears to be bolted. Wait. Though that iron plate appears to be bolted to the wall, it's actually bolted over what's known as a window. Window? Come on, they go bouncy bouncy. 
Bouncy, bouncy. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you mean. There are no windows in the dining hall at all. I assume those iron plates are covering them. But why aren't iron plates covering the windows? <laughs> Sandi, it appears your fur is rustling more than usual today. Hey, why are iron plates covering the windows? Such a fine day! Countless lives gasp their their finest breath their first breath and countless more go to the way of all flesh. Okay, that's what you mean. <laughs> My brain. Guess he doesn't know. Well this building is in the middle of renovation, so that might have something to do with it, but this place sure has a creepy atmosphere because of that. Suddenly we heard a voice of the ultimate affluent project protagonist. That's not what it means, but okay. Bring through the dining hall. Thank you for waiting. <laughs> Serial cargo bird. Teru Teru is in the kitchen and it appears Fujihiko did not come. I apologize. I didn't inform him about the party, but... It's not like you need to apologize, Peko. <laughs> what does this remind me of a certain VTuber? <laughs> it's his fault for, her, for not coming. I explicitly stated that attendance was mandatory, but... It's fine. If just one person is absent, that shouldn't pose a problem. He won't be able to do anything. What, what do you mean by that? More importantly, hmm? Hey, what's that? An intense expression spread across Byakuya's face as he looked through and eh, looked at the table with various food dishes on it. Dangerous! As he stomped his way towards the table. <笑>どう<笑> Hey, looks like ev wait, oh, it's not, sorry, sorry. Hey, looks like everyone's here. I should go ahead and bring out the rest of the Huh? Oh, what? Some messy eater ruined my arrangement. <laughs> Who made this dish? Uh, that that would be me, but um are you a food critic? What are you plotting? Cooking with such dangerous items. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dangerous? That's a churrasco. That's a South American meal where you stab meat onto an iron skewer to cook it. It felt really tropical and exotic, so I thought it would totally fit the party's atmosphere. These iron skewers are a problem. The iron skewers aren't allowed either? If that's how you're acting, then there might be more skewers just like these. Hey, Hajime, come with me. I need your help. Why me? Ah. It's your fault for standing right in front of him. My condolences. <laughs> Yakia's face bore an intense expression and as I reluctantly followed him out of the dining hall. Alright. Guess I'm going. What's up? Alright. This is the kitchen. We have to thoroughly inspect it to make sure there are no dangerous items. Yakuya stomped into the kitchen and I followed after him. Eka. Let's get on with it then. Search this place thoroughly. As he issued that order, Yakuya began searching the whole kitchen from one end to another. <clears throat> Look, I found these. These, there are forks and knives on the shelf. Don't tell me, those two? Tozenda. These are definitely dangerous items. If you're just eating, chop chopsticks are enough. After he said that, Yakuya threw the forks and knives into the dural duralum and case, one after the other. You're being very thorough about this. Chinese, Japanese, French, and Italian cuisine. Seafood dishes too. There's even a huge piece of meat on the bone. That Terry Terry, you sure got fired up. I don't even know if I'll be able to eat that much food. It seems there are no dangerous items, like the skewer or the chirasu earlier inside that pile of food. That appears to be the case. Dude, who, who, who would have known what 
what to do. Wait. Ooh, wait, I wouldn't have known what to do if he said fish and bones and meat bones were also dangerous items. This has to go. There appear to be various types of knives, but these... Out of the question! What? Knives are far too dangerous. Hand them over to me. I'll safeguard them. Kyakuya grabbed the knife from my hand and threw it into a duralumin dura case with the rest. Of course. Mm, this paper is... I see, it appears to be an equipment list for the kitchen. 20 forks, 20 knives, 20 spoons, 5 iron skewers, 3 frying pans, 20 wine glasses. There are also iron plates for the barbecue and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. <laughs> Iron plates and a portable stove. Portable stove. I do recall seeing them on the shelf over there. This kitchen seems to be well kept. There should be no problems using it. Though the building is old. Wait. Though the building is old, the kitchen is impressive. Compared to a normal restaurant, it's not too shabby. But it's strange. One of these items is not on the list. Wait. One of the items on the list seems to be short by one. Can you tell me what it is? Is that all? Are we good? I think we're good. Hey, is it necessary to go this far? I'm doing this because it is necessary. If I'm to fulfill the promise I made to not let anyone become a victim, I must be extra vigilant. Really? Is that all? What do you mean? Well, I'm just assuming, but I think something must have happened to you. After all, you decided to throw a party so suddenly. I can't help but think there's a reason for that. <laughs> That's not it. I've been a distressful person for as long as I can remember. Distressful person? <laughs> I don't really like to talk about my past, but it's fine. I'll tell you just a little bit of it. <laughs> I cannot talk about, to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Yakuya has a past he can't talk about. <laughs> Distrusting others and being distress distressed in, the in return. For a long time, my life has been a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. But in this kind of situation, my skeptical nature might be of good use. If we're to survive here, skepticism is necessary at all cost. Lamp, you have no idea how right you are. By the way, that past you mentioned, now is not the time. However, one day, there will definitely be a time when I will be able to tell you about it. If nothing happens and time passes for us peacefully, I will have no choice but to talk. <laughs> Ray, you, you make a good point. But that sounded pretty deep. I sort of feel like things are even more mysterious now because he hasn't told me the whole story. This guy might have a deep mysterious mystery hidden within him, deeper than I thought he'd have. Hi Rema, Hi, how are you doing? There has to be a reason for his wait. <laughs> Hey, enough with the unnecessary banter. We'd better f hurry and find the rest of those dangerous items. Yeah, got it. Even so, he sure works hard. That's probably more in line with his actual personality, I bet. Huh? What? The kitchen's a mess? What happened here? Don't raise your annoying voice. I just removed all the dangerous items. Ah, there are no knives or forks! Why? How come? I literally just said that I removed all of the dangerous items. I'm doing good, just wanted to check on you before nap. Oh, college is killing me, Kyle, you're doing good. Oh, have a good, have a good nap, Rema. And high anxiety, it really has been a long time. <laughs> I'm surprised people are actually showing up. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Don't tell me, you're treating cooking utensils like dangerous items? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, most of the dishes are finished, but I gotta... But all I gotta do is arrange the plates, so it's not a problem, but... But, but still... Hajime! So stop it, get off me! Huh? Eh? Not into that sort of thing? Well, that's a little depressing. Trust me, I'm the, de I'm the depressed one here. <laughs> Hey, before you start getting all flirty, explain this. I checked the equipment list, and there seems to be one iron skewer missing. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, that's right. As far as I know, that's been missing from the start. 
I'm doing okay. Um, last since last time you wait, that's because you're a likable person. That's was wrong. You're incorrect. Anyway, um, I've been doing okay. Um, since the last time we talked, I kind of you know lost another bunch of people. <laughs> Um, friends. So, I'm okay, but I could be better. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say. Mm. No matter how clean this place gets, stuff is still bound to go missing in an outbuilding, right? Not a beautiful human, shut up! I'll pull power at you. I don't remember what the command is. Hold on. Eh, eh, eh. Wait. How do I- hold on. There we go, I'm pouting. I'm Angie. You're being rude. <laughs> Don't be mean to me. <laughs> Don't give me that shit. If it's been missing all along, we can't really do anything about it, right? Looks more adorable than pounding. Shut up! <laughs> I'll punch you. <laughs> Cast these hands. <laughs> if only I had hands. You're right. There is no place to hide such a long skewer anyway. <laughs> I'm about to spoil this whole game in backseat game. No. No, you, if you do that, you're getting banned. <laughs> We're at least timed out. Don't you dare. Hi, w w welcome, welcome on my stream talks. The timeout. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Very well, all I need to do is keep a watchful eye. Don't tell me you plan to keep a watchful eye all night long. Hello, how are you? How are you? How are you, Taxi? Alright, let's go back. The other should be waiting for us. You too, Teru Teru. Come to the dining hall for now. <laughs> oh, okay. Jeez, he's such a pushy leader. I mean, wouldn't you be in a killing game? <gasps> I think everyone would be. Ah, they're finally back. No, no. Hey, let's eat already. I'm starving. <laughs> There's still an issue we need to address first. <laughs> eh, an issue? <laughs> Who do I gotta beat the crap out of? Just say the word and I'll do it for you. Yamero. Anxieties, what is that? I can't see what that is. Oh, it's a squeeze. It's a very squeeze. <laughs> I'm epic and watching you at work while I wait for my BF to get me. Oh, 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 oh. Glad. Glad that your work is over. <laughs> hi, hi. I want the alert emotes, but I do be poor. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm actually wanting to get more new different emotes that, you know, don't have other people in them. Because all the other people that I put in my emotes always end up leaving me. <laughs> it's sad. It's sad, but it's true. I need to do some calling for art, but I really don't want it. Well, I don't know. Sometimes it's better to just bite the bullet and just continue. Put me in your emotes. Are you sure? I don't want to lose you, Tugs. Don't worry. Don't, don't, don't let me, don't let me, don't let me lose you. <laughs> Ticket for people who leave her. Shush! Shush! Don't, don't make me blush. I can't even blush because my my mama, who also left me, uh, didn't include a blush function. The issue is where to safeguard this dual lumen case that has all the confiscated dangerous items. Huh? Can't we just leave it here? Yes, blush. I, I wish. I wish I could. Quickly gonna reset my Wi-Fi. Okay, okay. Um, have a have a good time resetting. I guess <laughs> I don't know. Welcome back, Spooky. Can't we just leave it here? <laughs> I've already put a lock in the case, which so shouldn't be a problem. But we should definitely up the security and keep it someplace someplace safe. 
space itself could be used as a murder weapon. You make a good point, but so could the table. <laughs> and the plates. Just glue my face to the old emotes like a divorced wig. Divorced people do in old movies. Oh. Well, you, you might still leave. <laughs> Everything could be used as a murder weapon. True. Byakuya could be used as a murder weapon. He has to put the case in the case. You make a good point. Some place safe. Oh, there's a storage room at the back of this old building. A storage room, huh? Even so, we can't leave the case alone in there. Then someone should guard it. But that would keep it safe, yes? This body's not in someone. Eh, who? Who? I'll do it, of course. Sorry, that was the wrong voice. Whatever. Eh, hey, are you sure? I guess if you insist. Just kidding. I don't know what the fuck you mean. Okay, let me... Sorry, my fan is not being good enough. Let me just... Same, same tux. Let me just quickly... Go and fix my fan. Hold on, one second. Put the fan in overdrive. Hi. Wait, why am I turned this way? Hold on, let me... There we go. But I'll be lonely there by yourself. The reason why the, they covered the window was so nobody could smash it and use the glass. No! I mean, yeah, but no. I don't mind. I'm not that good at situations where I have to be around lots of people anyway. <laughs> if I wrote a song about this, the title would definitely be Lonely Girl in the Storage Room. However, Teru Teru has gone through the trouble of cooking. Is it alright for me to bring some of it with me? Twilight Spark. Okay. Okay, Lamp. Okay, Brony. Yeah, that's totally fine. But if you're gonna go to guard duty, to do guard duty anyway, it might be better if you avoid the storage room. Eh, why is that? Well, not only is the storage room packed with lots of stuff, it's hard to see in there and full of cobwebs. <laughs> also, I was busy cleaning the dining hall that I didn't even have time to clean the storage room. The rock hole is amazing. You're true. You're, you're correct. You're correct. If you stayed in there for a long time, I think it would be bad for your health. In that case, why don't you guard it in the office? If I recall correctly, there's also a circuit breaker in there too. So it'd be a good idea to guard that as well. <laughs> yeah, the office sounds nice. I'm pretty sure it's not that dirty either. Mikan and Ibuki are my wives. Well, same. <laughs> but, I mean, if, if, I, if I went to do all that stuff, you know... I want, if I want to say all of that, you know, then I have to sum up a lot of people. <laughs> really wish I could watch further. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Thank you for showing up, at, like, even at all. Because, like, you know, it's not for granted, like, having people show up at all is not, like, something that you can have for granted. And I'm really happy that you did, so. Anybody know how to properly color with colored pencils? I have no idea. You relate to the rocker girl mechanic and the nurse. That, I, that, I did not leave that image in my mind. Sorry Spooks, but I did not need to see you as Mikan. <laughs> oh god, my, my head. I keep fucking thinking about your face on Mikan's face. That's not fine, that's not okay. Understood, so I need to be on guard duty at the office. Then I should get going. Have fun tonight, everyone. Talking with her... Taking... Wait, taking with her the Duralumin case and a pile... Plate piled with food. 
Peko left the dining hall. Hmm, seeing Peko is back as she walks away makes me feel like she's got this super cool melancholy, melancholy vibe. But shouldn't she have taken that other case with her too? <laughs> this? No, this case is fine. Ah, uh, no fair! You're like the only one who's got to bring their own stuff. When you're as special as me, you get special privileges. <laughs> when you put it that way, it's hard to argue with you. The Duralumen case stays with me at all times. I've put the key on the other, to the other case in here as well. Oh, take f why did you say that? You didn't have to say that. You didn't have to mention that. I will take f my full responsibility for watching over it. There is no way I can let anyone handle this matter. Anyone else. But more importantly, we're all done now, right? Let's start the party. No, there are still more. I, who do you want me to mean to me to beat the crap out of? Hurry up and tell me already. Sir, sir, seriously, it has nothing to do with that. I can't speak. I'm constantly looking over at chat and then I'm losing my mind, I guess. With other words, everything help illiterate my brain. <laughs> Actually, if you're volunteering, I do have one particular nuisance in mind. Huh? Are you talking about... So. Monokuma, of course. He's the one thing that could obviously dis disrupt this party. Alright, so you you're, let me eat if I beat the crap out of Monokuma, right? <laughs> God damn it. Wait a sec, if you actually pick a fight with that thing, you're just gonna end up perforated. Okay. Are you telling me to wait till I starve to death? So starve to death, that's a little extreme. <laughs> Our opponent is not someone who can, we can just fight. Rather, it's better if we use our heads and think of a plan. <laughs> I'll do something about it. <laughs> do something? You? Oy, oy. Hey now, what can a girl like you do? You're just gonna put yourself in danger. Mm -hmm. I won't. It's not like I'll do personally do something. You won't? <laughs> do you intend to use to utilize Monomi? <laughs> Yeah, if I can talk her into helping us, she might be able to keep Monokuma at bay. At least that's what I think. Ah, that's probably a good idea. She looks like the type that's easily manipulated. Plus, Monomi and, wait, plus Monomi and Monokuma totally have a rivalry going on. Well, it's a pretty one-sided rivalry. But will you really be okay, Chiaki? I still think it's dangerous. I'll be fine. If things get dangerous, I'll just run away as fast as I can. Well then, I'll be going now. What is this feeling? I feel somewhat uneasy. Using colored pencils is hard, I tried to use pressure. That is advice that I never thought I'd read. <laughs> Honestly, because I would never ask for that advice uh, on my own. That's what will be why. It's not like I have a bad feeling about this, but something feels off. So it's all settled, right? Then can we... <laughs> You're right, let's begin. Alright! <laughs> so this banquet has finally commenced. <laughs> you better keep me entertained. Okay. And with that, the party started. Now that I think about it, I still don't understand why we're even having a party in the first place. But whatever the reason, everyone seems to be having fun. Hey, are we good? Can I finally eat? You're already eating. <laughs> I can't stop. I don't have all the colors, so you need to go over the colors a bit. All our nutcases. You're true. You're true? You're correct. Jesus Christ, my brain. Help. I'm in pain. <laughs> I can't stop my hands from shoving food in my face. Well, of course you can't stop. These are the world's tastiest party dishes, after all. Wait, they're talking on their own. それが僕の作る世界一美味しい料理なんだよね。な、なんか逆に怖いですけど。コネの子だったら俺が一人で口回る厨房でじゃんじゃん作ってるからこっちにじゃんじゃん持ってくるね。ねえみんな、せっかく
Nekomaru, did something happen? The party, the party has just started, but I must return to my cottage. Oi. Don't be foolish. I won't allow such selfish actions. Don't stop me, Pyapia. There comes a time when the man knows when he's gotta go. If I don't go now, it would be it would shame me as a man. Shitting my parents would be a total shame to me as a man. So he was talking about the toilet. If you need to use the bathroom, there's one in this old building. Why do you need to go back to your cottage? I've been trying to use it many times, but the door just don't, won't open at all. But what is this blasphemy? But what now? When my hellhound earring has disappeared, did it vanish into subspace? Calm down, you probably just dropped it somewhere. Oh shit, I'm gonna shit! No lamp, don't tell- don't say that. Lamp, no. No lamp, lamp please. No. Shut up, don't you dare. Hey, is it really alright if I eat all of this? Don't be an idiot, make sure you leave some for me. Hey, Byakuya, come on. Let's <laughs> take a picture. Alright, say cheese. Hey, why can't you all act a little more mature? What's that sound just now? Huh? It's dark all of a sudden. Blackout? Eh, yeah, a blackout? In that instant, we all stumbled. I couldn't read the rest of it, sorry. Sounds of screams and frantic, foot frantic footsteps rang throughout the dark dining hall, and were immediately swallowed. Were immediately swallowed up by another sound. My voice is not calming. I am so panicked right now because I can't speak and I can't read. <laughs> thank you, though. Thank you, Ray. I appreciate it. Because of the windows, because the windows were entirely covered, the blackouts surround us with complete darkness. Complete darkness, therefore no matter how long we, I wait, there's no way my eyes will adjust. This is... Hey, nice. Spooks, can you like not try to, you know, get into my psychology, please? <laughs> Spooks, please. God damn it. Within the darkness, we fervently, I don't know what the fuck that word is, waited to be released from our fear. We anxiously waited, and after a while, it finally. My bad. It's okay, don't worry about it. <laughs> ah, at that moment when the lights in the dining hall finally turned back on, a shocking scene unfolded before our eyes. Okay, everyone close your eyes. Mikan's appearance had been compromised. だから、どうやって転べばそんな風になるんだって。はい、エッチなポーズだ。あからさまな感じすしんだね。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ
Well, no, I couldn't fight my way to the office with the circuit breaker. Then why are all the lights back on? <laughs> who knows? Don't know who knows me, you're so useless. <laughs> clothing is nice. I like Japanese clothing. It's not my fault, you know. There's no way I could have found my way to the office in the darkness. Oh my! Sonia, did something happen? No! Byakuya's missing. Did he go somewhere? Eh? Byakuya? We immediately looked around the dining hall. Sure enough, Byakuya who promised we would lead would lead us in situations like this was nowhere to be found. That's weird, he was here earlier, right? Did he run off somewhere doing the blackout? And that pitch black darkness? I'm a little worried. We should split up and go look for him. I'll look in the storage room, so I can I ask you to check the entrance, Hajime? Yeah, got it. Then, I guess I'll look in the office. I shall go look around in the hallway. I'll wait here since I'm kind of in the middle of eating anyway. I'm still gonna eat while this is going on. I must bathroom. I must man up and check the bathroom. I don't understand this man up thing. Jeez, Mr. Ham has ran away just because there was an itty bit blackout. Such a shameful leader. If I find him, I'm gonna finger flick him in the face as punishment. Even so, where did Byakuya go? I believe I have to go check the entrance. I'm pretty sure Chi Chiaki was there. You miss Celeste? Well, yeah. She's dead though. Chiaki and Monami are standing in front of the entrance. I guess they're watching out for Monica. Eh? Hajime, what's, what's, what about the party? Oh, well, well, it's not done yet, right? I haven't even joined in yet. Hey, Chiaki, did you happen to see Byakuya pass by here? Mm -hmm. Byakuya? No, I didn't. But what happened to Byakuya? There was a sudden blackout inside the old building and Byakuya vanished during that time. So we thought he might have gone outside, but... Nope, nobody came out. If nobody came out, does that mean he's still inside? If that's the case, we might have missed each other. That's what I think. Ah, uh, Hajime, when, how did it go? Well, when I talked to Chiaki, she said she, he didn't go outside. That's weird, no one was inside the storage room either. He wasn't in the kitchen, obviously. No one was in the office. Nobody was in the office? Ah, uh, what about Peko? I thought she was supposed to be guarding the area. Well, actually, not even Peko was there. Eh, Peck was gone too. Maybe those two took advantage of the blackout to to have themselves a major makeout session in the bathroom. Really outrageous. Hmm. Something happened, Akane. Well, do any of you smell something? When partially digested food is absorbed by the sm small intestine, is decomposed by bacteria releasing it. Which is mostly absorbed in the intestinal tract, but whatever cannot be absorbed is excreted in the anus. <laughs> Those are the mechanics of fighting, but fighting isn't something to be embarrassed about. No, Damn it. No, I'm not talking about that. What? It smells like blood. Blood? Mm. As Akane's nose twitched like a beast's, she suddenly pointed. Mm. It's coming from over there. A table at the very back of the dining hall. Um, okay, so, yeah, this girl is an animal. So, Lamp, if you, if you want to look at this, you can look at it, but, I mean. The smell of blood. What in the world is at that table? It's under there. Under the table? I dashed towards the table at the back, reached out towards, towards the tablecloth, and then I stopped. Is this nervousness? Fear? Well, why am I nervous? It can't be. It obviously can't be. There's no way that's gonna happen. With a shout, I grabbed the tablecloth cloth and flipped it back in one go. A 
It's not that bad, honestly, but, you know. Oh, no, never mind. It is quite bad. <laughs> For the rest of my life, I will never forget what I saw. What I saw, what I, I saw the ultimate affluent progeny, Byakuya Togami, already dead and beyond recognition. I'm not sure when you can look, honestly. Like, this at the moment isn't. Oh, never mind, it's back. <laughs> you still can't look? Don't worry about it. I just stood there, horrified, the showers of screams rang out behind me. I gazed quietly at the body of my former friend. Okay, you can look now. You can open your eyes. Wh why? What is this? I'm not copying that. This, this is impossible. Thanks, don't worry, don't worry. Don't mess with me. This must be some kind of mistake. This can't be real blood, right? It's gotta be something like jam or sauce. Because if not, this... Good gracious, things quickly took a turn for the worse. My, my, no, this is interesting. Color wheel for a school project, that's interesting. Lamp. Okay. <laughs> okay, lamp. <laughs> On this tropical paradise known as Jabberwock Island, the very first murder has finally taken place. M murder uh, Hold on, then. Does this mean... Oh, of course. The Yakuya was killed by one of you. What? If you look at the body, you can tell instantly he was obviously murdered. Okay, don't look, don't look. I, I, why does the game give no warning? I want to warn my friend here. Look, he has such a horrible expression on his face, don't you think? The face filled with regret that his life was ended by force, all thanks to someone else's selfish desires. To have a dying face such as this. If this isn't murder, what the heck could it be? You're eating right now. It's pink! It's goop! It's paint! Don't worry about it. Yaki was most likely sacrificed by somebody who really wanted to leave his island. Lies. It's all lies. You're lying that he was murdered. Murdered the moment I screamed that word. The thick, muddy feeling of this parrot swelled within my body. Sketchup. How is ketchup pink? It's like some kind of uh, icky paint like goop. <laughs> <laughs> Only some people get this reference. Which means that that I've accepted the fact that Gyakia was murdered. What, what is this? Is that really Gyakia? You want white? I see, I see. It appears for you, Hiko is the only one who isn't here. So in the spirit of keeping everyone on the same page, how about we do this the usual way? Class? Trial? I've already explained this to you, right? If one of you gets murdered, the rest of you have to debate who you think is the blackened. Hajime means begin or first. Makes me think Hajime made that first skill to begin the killing game. Well, I mean, you're saying that, but um, you're gonna have to wait until the next stream because I'm gonna like end after I have figured everything out. I mean, end after I get all the evidence and shit. <laughs> so, uh, you're not gonna figure out who the killer is this time. <laughs> you're telling us to figure out who the killer is? 
cliffhanger. I do this all the time, don't worry about it. That's right, from this point out, you guys must investigate and uncover the blackened culprit. It can't be, someone actually killed. There's no way. Sleuth it out, sure, go right ahead. I, I'd be happy to hear your um, theories in my DMs. <laughs> If you make an outburst like that, you'll end up being a suspect. I won't believe it. One of us killed Yakuya. There's no way something as hopeless as that would ever happen. If you're actually thinking that way, it means you guys are already being conned by the killer. Come on, come on, let's hurry up and begin. An impassioned, life-risking battle between you guys and the Blackened. And it's already started. It started the moment one of you plotted to kill someone. And I was not one person at least. What if it was the cook and he hit the murder weapon? Well, I mean, that could be. You have to figure it out on your own. I'm not doing it now. <laughs> what do you mean, you know it's not one person at least? What? I'm confused. Sure, you can guess. Hey, what are you saying? Everyone, please, you cannot, you should not believe what Monokuma says. No matter how much she interfere, there's only ever one truth. On my grandfather's name. You have a grandpa? On my grandfather's grave. Your grave? Your grandpa's dead? What happened to him? On my grandfather's plane. What happened to your grandpa? Did his plane crash? I don't even know where to begin with this rate. <laughs> Did you see that? Stunning display of power? The fire, big brother, and I will show you no mercy. I will harden my heart and teach you a lesson, so you won't forget. Jesus Christ, why is she bloody? If only I had my magic stick, I'd be able to figure, fight, figure, no, fight back against Monokuma. Hi. Monopoly? Hi. Jesus Christ, spooks, that's not what it, okay. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's just leave this whiny rabbit loser alone and get on with the investigation. Now, in the spirit of the lovely, the lovey doubt and lovey deception, don't know what the fuck that means. Put your heart and soul into investigating. Thank you. With that, Monokuma vanished, leaving those of us who were grief-stricken alone with our despair. What, what does this mean? I don't understand this at all. A search for Byakuya's killer. Why did it turn out like this? Ah, uh, give me a break. Why do I have to be involved in this horrible situation? Um, you can't doubt each other because you're all friends. But Mr. Hammond's really did get killed, right? And if we don't find out who the killer is, we're all gonna get killed, right? That being said, I cannot abide by this. Now that I finally have made friends, there's no way I can doubt them. Seriously? Did you even listen to what I said? It doesn't matter if you can abide by this or not. We gotta do this to survive, right? Then we have no choice but to do it. No, friends doubting friends is a major no-no. Lamp, please. <laughs> ah, shut up, go away already, you useless piece of trash. Threats are scary. Do we really have to do it? No, I don't want to do something like that. I don't want to do it either, it sounds scary. However, it is just as Yoko said. If we're going to get killed for not doing it, then we must do it. But still, I can't believe one of us killed Byakuya. There's no way I can believe it, there's no way. But for that reason, I'll do it. I'll investigate Byakuya's death, I will do my best to prove there's no killer amongst us. There's no need to deceive or doubt each other. What we need is wait what we need to fight is not ourselves. Not but that that which is trying to crush us, this despair. This hopeless reality. That's the real enemy we need to fight. 
If I'm going to survive this, I have to fight it. Ah, uh, before I you start, can I say something? In closed circle detective games, the player usually has to decide on who's going to guard the crime scene. What should we do? Oh yeah, it would be bad if the killer destroyed the evidence and got away with it. But they destroyed the evidence? Look over there, that big bulky, bulky brownie guy is the perfect guard. Perfect guy for job duty, guard, whatever. Brain, please. What the heck, what happened? That guy, he has a sensitive heart despite his looks. Is that what it means? I'm, I can be the one who watches the crime scene. I have enough confidence to investigate the body, and it's not like I have the brains either. Let's just say Bob Yakuya's sight, that's the least I can do. That's what guard duty is, right? <laughs> Mahiru. Um, um, I'll do my best. I'll do my very best to not get in your way. I have medical training, so if it's not too much trouble, I can be perform an autopsy, please. So you're going to stay as well? Is that okay? And what specifically should we be doing now? I have no idea. Hmm. It's pretty obvious, we're all just amateurs. Going through each grain of sand on a beach just to find a clue would be a waste of time. The only ones who can do that are the police. And there's no way amateurs like us would be able to do that. Hmm. So let us first rely on our intuition. We'll start from there and prove that no one could have killed Yakuya. <laughs> but, but to perform an autopsy on your friends, how cruel. But I have no choice, right? There's no way I could do something like decline, right? I, I won't believe it, I won't. Yabia got killed, I don't believe that at all. Fine, I'm in. If we are to survive, this is our only path. Something like that. Something like this. The only thing we can do in order to stay alive. Running out with the killer is. That's our only hope for survival. Something like this is hope? Even so, even so, I still gotta do it. I thought you just said, fuck, I lost my oranges, and I was like, just go buy new ones. <laughs> what would happen if it would be uh, the guy had every weapon in a chest? Oh, the, oh uh, what weapon it would be. Ta da! And you thought it was time for the investigation, but. Just as I thought, you amateurs need this, right? But what the hell? It's a Monokuma file. Explaining the rules all the time really breaks my bones. Well, it's not like I have bones in the first place. Like, I don't even. Don't even make me say such lame jokes. Let's see. The Monokuma file contains precise and detailed information regarding the dead body. I brought it to you so you guys can smoothly proceed with the investigation. I'm such a nice guy. I'm so nice, I want to be known as Mother Teresa of, ma the, of the mascot world. <laughs> nice you say, you're just a selfish meanie. <laughs> my my my, Mon Monami the meaningless mascot, you're still here. <laughs> Don't put me in meaningless, the meaningless mascot genre. <laughs> Come on, let's go, your turn's already up. Hurry up and get the hell out of here with me. <laughs> Don't pull my ears, they're gonna come off. They're finally gone. The Monokuma file, huh? Anyway, I guess I should look it over just in case. Dunk. <laughs> the victim's body was discovered in the dining hall of the old building near the Hotel M Mirai. The estimated time of death is 11.30pm. The victim was repeatedly stabbed over 10 times between, wait, between the throat and abdominal region, resulting in death. Aside from that, the body has no other external injuries and has no wait, and no chemicals such as poison were detected. So Byakuya really is dead, damn it. You promised you would you wouldn't even be one wait, there wouldn't even be one victim. Why you end up being one? And now I'll never know what you were going to say to me. In the end, what did he even mean? Could it be... Does it symbolize that what lies within will there be an inevitable future? Future of murder? No, 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 don't worry about it, don't worry about it. 
everyone always keeps doing like these fucking predictions and everything and I'm like whoa 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 whoa, whoa. you're you're getting ahead of yourself <laughs> no wait just because he said he he said lots of serious things doesn't mean he was a traitor what am I thinking I love how it says Monokuma file one because it knows that there will be more. That's right, I need to do it. If we're gonna survive this, we need to do it. I have to prepare myself for the worst. Ah, this is the metal case Byakuya had with him. I believe he said it was made of duralumin. The last time I saw it, it was closed, but there are a lot of odd things inside the case, like, like a nightstick and pepper spray. Mm, what's this? A hard plastic case, but it's just a case. The inside is empty. I wonder what was inside. But one thing that really catches my attention is a small key. This must be the key to the other dual lumen case. The other case within the office and all of the collected dangerous items were inside of it. If the key to that dual lumen case is right here, then it's unlikely that the murder weapon used to kill Byakuya was taken from that case. Nice, Ray. <laughs> Which means the weapon inside the weapons inside the Duralumin case aren't related to Byakuya's murder. Even so, I still don't get it. Why did Byakuya have this Duralumin case in the first place? The case packed with all of the security equipment. Maybe I was being extra cautious just in case? No, that can't be right. That's way too overboard. Could he have known something was going to end to happen beforehand? And because of that he went to all this trouble to be extra careful? So, okay, I keep forgetting things that happen in this game, and constantly, every time I play it, it's like, well, yeah, actually, it makes sense. Oh, no. No, don't chew me. And, and Lamp, you are, you, you are pretty correct. Say the thing. Okay, fine, fine. <clears throat> chew. 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 Chu <laughs> Ray Chu <laughs> Fuck, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> there are lots of fancy looking party dishes. In the end, nobody really ate all that much. I can't imagine these are related to the incident. Okay, alright, fine, Jesus Christ. Oh hell out earring, answer my call! <laughs> Is this effort futile as well? Hey, are you still looking for the earring you dropped? Summer. It is not a mere earring, it is the Hellhound earring. This edgelord. <laughs> I've never seen Lamp say something like this. That's incredible. <laughs> oh my god, Lamp. <laughs> <Your cuddle. laughs> god damn it. Oh my god, I, I like seeing the sight of Lamp. <laughs> Never seen a man like this. Thank you for following, Savannah. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. How are you? Long ago, in a faraway land, a beast such a beast known as the Hellhound was feared by all, even by he who summoned it. Well, this certainly this is certainly random. The Hellhound tore its way through innumerable battlefields, its fangs glistening with blood and his drenched blood-red fur would dry in the howling winds of loneliness. When I finally tamed that diabolical beast, I received an earring to commemorate that event. The Hellhound Earring! So that I may never forget the night that I battled that fiercer, fearsome pro pump whatever. I wear that earring all the time. I didn't have sleep when on that much of a rampage. <laughs> Was that really about... A friggin' Pomeranian. I, don't, I understand it's important for you, but for now, we need to investigate. Where is it? Where did it disappear to? Maybe it fell underneath the floor? The carpet didn't cover the whole floor. It might have fallen through the gaps between the exposed floorboards. <laughs> so that's what transpired. Such a clever little bobble. Gundam laughed upro uproariously as he walked through it towards the wall and pressed his head against the gaps in the floor. I peered beneath the, flo beneath the floorboards. I can't speak. I hate this. Ah, there it is. 
I have found it. Truly, that is the Hellhound Earring. <laughs> it seems the gods exist for my benefit. I see. Good for you. Ooh. However, how do I recover it? I cannot fit my arm through this opening. Were I to use the tool, I would probably not reach it either. Maybe you should just give up? No, not... Give up? What in the world? I meant to give up the earring. Fool, have you not yet realized? The world will come to an end if the human race were to lose that earring. Humans are so satisfied with clothing of yourself and layers of false knowledge. But even with all those layers, you still will not survive the winter. Why am I being scalded? It was foolish of me to rely on you fools. Fine, I shall do something about it on my own. Now if you'll excuse me, I must go save the world. <laughs> if he wants that earring back by any means necessary, his determination is truly inspiring. But it'd be nice if he actually helped me with the investigation. At least he reminded me that there is gaps in the floorboards. Are you alright, Mahiru? Is that what you expected me to say? Because I feel terrible. One minute Byakuya is alive and well, and in an instant, something awful suddenly happens. You referred to the Great Wind King before Ragnarok of Mars mythology. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about! <laughs> of course I'm not fine. I don't need that, but whoever killed him is one of us, right? That hasn't been determined yet. It's already been determined. You've accepted it, haven't you? That we have to find out who the killer is. Found out which friend killed our friend. I don't like it either, but we won't survive if we don't go through with it. Eh, <laughs> my throat is dying. It's not just for yourself, we have to do it to protect all of us. If, if only I had acted calmer during the blackout, Yakuya might still be alive. This whole thing never would have happened. Stop blaming yourself, nothing good will come of it. Ah oh, jeez, getting cheered up by a boy isn't like me at all. I'm not a boy, shut the fuck up. Fucking stop making me drown. There's three drowns, okay. Okay, three drowns. You seriously messed up dying of throat. <laughs> that's a that's a large volume of water to gulp down in one go. English hard, it's true, it's true. Hey Hajime, forget about what I just said, got it? Yeah, that's fine, got it. Mm. Anyway, I don't I won't dwell on it for now. I can't become a burden to everyone. Plus there might be a clue that only I have access to. A clue? Yeah. Photos, the ones I took just before the blackout, remember? Oh yeah, the picture. Mm. Wanna see them? I have a digital camera, so I can show them to you right now. Really? Please. Turn them. Let's see, it's this photo. And this one. I took these two photos right before the blackout, but... Huh? Something wrong? I didn't realize it until just now, but right before the blackout, Byakuya was... standing in a totally different place than where we found him. Was his body under that table? Wasn't his body under that table with the lamp on top of it? The one underneath the monitor? Prior to that, Byakuya was standing along the wall furthest away from the table. You're right, that is pretty far. There's something. Everyone's standing position before the blackout might be a huge clue. Hey, can you approximate everyone. everybody's standing position from these photos? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. It'd be hard to um, for me wait to understand from the photos up alone, so it might be better for me to plot it out. Mm. But that, would that actually provide a clue? I don't know yet, but I feel like it could. Well, got, it. got it. Then leave it to me. That's pretty much the only job I can do anyway. Okay, that's okay. Have a good time, whatever it is you you gotta do. Um, thank you for sh for showing up, Ray. I had a lot of fun. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. It's really. 
you can't really, like, you know, take it for granted, like I said before, as people are gonna show up, so it really means a lot to me that you do show up. Have a good time! Bye bye! <laughs> You better work hard in your investigation too. How much longer are you planning to stand around? You understand what's going on? You gotta find out how Byakuya died. Yeah, I know, but... It's good she's all fired up now, but she's a totally different person now than when she was feeling down. Okay, I'm gonna... Look at the body for now. Um... Lamp, so if you want to look away for a second. A remote controlled air conditioner. Mm -hmm. Air conditioner? Could it be? Something, something growing up. What was that sound just now? Blah, blah, blah. We're talking about the, the air conditioner. This air conditioner is probably the only machine inside this room. And the air conditioner is remote controlled. Timer is set to 11.30 pm. I'm pretty sure Byakuya's time of death was around the same time. So if so, that means that mechanical sign before the blackout is probably from this air conditioning. My flashes of inspiration aren't as bad as I thought. Sorry, I was like trying to do something else while the delay went up. Anyway, table time. Under this very table, Byakuya was... First, I should investigate the top of the table. Though the only thing on top of this table that really catches my eye is... This desk lamp. It looks like an antique lamp and seems rather heavy. The power cord was connected to the outlet, so it would have been useless during the blackout. Other than that, there's nothing else on the table that really stands out to me, so... Now is not the time for me to flinch. A lamp? Yeah. I gotta do it. I let out a shout as if to encourage myself and quickly looked beneath the table. Immediately I noticed an unexplainable smell like rusted iron hanging in the air. And during the stinging pain in the back of my eyes, I slowly shifted my, slowly shifted my gaze towards Byakuya's body. Byakuya Togami, the ultimate affluent progeny, he was the kind of guy who said a lot of hurtful things, but he tried his best to lead everyone. Why... why did he have to end up like this? The only thing I can do right now, for Byakuya's sake, is to uncover the truth behind his death. Beneath the table. Hmm? Something is stuck to the back of the table. Is this duct tape? There seems to be paint applied to the non-sticky side of the duct tape. A dim light beneath the table. At the dim light beneath the tables, it seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? Knife. A bloody knife. Is this weapon? Is this the weapon that killed Yapia? Hold on. How did the killer bring this knife into the dining hall in the first place? Byakuya thoroughly patted down everyone and thoroughly inspected every corner of this old building. And all the confiscated dangerous items were supposed to be in pl in wait, placed in that Duralumen case. Hold on one second. Yeah. Sorry. It's possible they stole this knife from the case, or they hid it somewhere hard to find. Also, there's one more thing about this knife that's strange. There's some kind of paint that's been applied to the hilt. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? Night vision goggles. Hmm? What's this? It looks like binoculars, but... Why is there a pair of binoculars under the table? Hmm. Hajime, those aren't binoculars. Then, what are they? Those are probably night vision goggles. Night vision goggles? I've seen them at the supermarket on this island. They also stock self-defense kits, too. If that's the case, did the killer use these night vision goggles to kill Byakuya during the blackout? The body is collapsed, collapsed face down under the table. Under the table, sorry, Jesus. If I was, if he was, as if he was in the middle of attempting something, looks like he was, according to the Monokuma file, was repeatedly stabbed between the throat and the abdominal region. Repeatedly stabbed? Would one of us really do something so horrible? Lamp, I love, I love that you are theorizing. Thank you. Keep going. Is this everything? I think this is everything. Oh no, never mind. Oh, bloodstain. 
The blood flowing from Byakuya's body formed a huge pool under the table. That's a lot of blood. There's blood splattered everywhere. Even the inner side of the tablecloth is covered in blood. The blood might have splattered all over the place when he got stabbed. But I don't- there doesn't seem- wait, there don't seem to be any drag marks leading from the blood pool. Yes, he was stabbed multiple times. Despite the fact that it's just me, I think I'm working pretty hard. Even if it's just a little, I'm sure we're getting close to the truth- wait, closer to the truth behind Yakuya's death. Uh, anyway, we- I'm- I'm off the- I'm- from the table. I'm away from the table. My fucking words can't speak. Because that's what my lips are supposed to do. <laughs> my- I swear to god, I can't talk ever. My illiteracy is showing. Hey Hajime, there's something I want to run by you. Before the blackout occurred, Byakuya was in the dining hall with the rest of us, right? Yeah, that's right. Mm. And if Byakuya's dead body was discovered after the blackout, then don't you think he died during the blackout? Well, now that you mention it... Mm. No worries, Lamp. But why was Byakuya's body under a table? Even if the killer tried to hide him, it's not like he would have stayed hidden forever. Isn't that confusing? You're absolutely right. It seems finding out what exactly happened during the blackout is key to solving the mystery. There's no way I'd know. It was so dark during the blackout, I couldn't see a thing. Although, if seeing wasn't possible, then there's a possibility someone might have heard something. Heard something? Weird that if he was stabbed multiple times, they didn't hear him cry out of cry out getting stabbed. Well, the possibility of him dying the first stab is pretty high as well. But you know, people could still continue stabbing. Are you talking about her? Who is her? Oh, I, re I know who you're talking about. You clever boy. <laughs> I know. You clever boy. <laughs> what do you mean, animal lady? Animal lady? Do you mean the rock lady? Because that's what I think. Oh no, it's the rock lady, the lady that has the, the music. <laughs> I must, I must investigate my classmate's body. Yes, I'm the one who has the medical knowledge. Twilight Sparkle, yeah, you're right. That's why I need to do it, to, to do it. Somehow, before you start, why don't you calm down a bit? You're right, I, I need to calm down first. I'm careless enough as it is. That's pretty obvious from how you felt earlier. I am very terribly sorry for that. For showing you something so unsightly. You made me remember it again. <laughs> God damn it, stop it. I made such a fool of myself in front of everybody. Forget making a fool of yourself. How in the world did you end up like that? Well, I got startled by the blackout and slipped, uh, slipped on the carpet and... Once I was struggling to get back up. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Please erase it from your memory. Even if you ask me, I wouldn't be able to forget it so easily. Sorry. Ah, I can't stand it. Embarrassing pose. Now then, where else should I investigate? Ah, uh, Hajime, a moment? What is it? When we're finished investigating here, would you like to hear what everyone else has what everyone has to say t together? If I go by myself, some people might not talk to me out of caution. Well, we've been told that one of us is the killer. It can't be helped if everyone's on edge right now. But why me? <laughs> hmm, you're easy to talk to and I feel like you have a sense similar to mine. We both harbor a special feelings towards Hope's Peak Academy, isn't that right? Well, yeah, but... Fine, if we're going together, let's get on with it. There's no time for idle chit chat. I'm glad. Uh, it'll be a great help. Special feelings, huh? Even so, what he said about us being similar, I don't think I agree. I guess for now, we should search the insides of this building and listen to what the others have to say. Not just the dining hall, I think we should consider the whole building a scene of a crime. 
After all, the blackout that took place at the, ha at the time would have happened thro throughout this entire building. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Hi. Apparently, a great man once said, investigation should be done on foot. So that's why I'm here using my feet. Nice, nice, nice. I'm just walking around for no particular reason. Well, if there's no reason, there's no meaning. Hey, Hajime, I just realized something. Could she by any chance know what happened during the blackout? Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Eh, how'd you know? <laughs> so you did hear it, even though Hajime and I were talking pretty softly just now. <laughs> Not only do I have a perfect face, style, and personality, but I also have perfect ears. I see. If your hearing is so good, maybe you heard what actually happened during the blackout. Mm. When the blackout happened, you could hear everybody's voice throughout the dining hall, right? We couldn't tell, but you would have been able to make out who's who, right? <laughs> Just leave it to Ibuki, it's as easy as fried- wait, it'll be easy as fried rice gravy. Huh? Ali Lala, I heartily eat it for breakfast. No, no. Oh, so you mean like, it'll be easy as pie, except eating fried rice with gravy for breakfast is kind of heavy. <laughs> Any fried rice isn't that isn't fried rice with gravy is so wrong. <laughs> wait. Oh, <laughs> lamp, please. You can't do that shit. She, she should make a ma metaphor with more common type of fried rice, like egg fried rice or lettuce fried rice. Anyway, can you tell us what you heard? <laughs> Leave it to me, I'm gonna take a bite out of you. <laughs> if you tell us, I'll let you bite Hajime later. Stop it, what if she takes you seriously? Um... Let's see, the first person who raised their voice during the blackout was... That's right, it was my hero. <laughs> next was Kajuichi's voice, and then next was- ne wait, ne the next next voice was mine. <laughs> yeah, what a nice remark I made. It's to the point and has its own, has its own unique charm. Just continue. Then there were more voices, one after the other. あ、足踏まないでよ。やめろ。で、電気つけろって。飯が食いづらいじゃね、みんな。どこにいるの?で、停電で、厨房だけじゃないの?これって、ブレーカーが落ちたんじゃないですか?ちょ、ちょっと待
That's only done to keep cats from getting in. <laughs> you know about keeping cats from getting inside, but you don't know about fire doors. <laughs> Truly, I am culturally ignorant. I am ashamed of myself. You silly Billy. Isn't it amazing? That meat is so big, even I was shocked. It's a dish fit for a tropical island, and I'd never be able to eat, get meat like this in Aoyama or Azu. Uh, uh, fucking, I can't mm. speak. I'd never be able to get meat like this in my hometown, much less Aoyama or Azuba. Whatever. I can't speak. I get it, you don't have to repeat yourself, but it, if it's so big, where do you get it? I asked Nekumaru, especially, uh, apparently he killed the cow at the ranch with his bare hands and brought it over. His bare hands? That's a little hard to believe, but it doesn't seem completely impossible either. Those hands of his, they look like they specialize in punching things. I wouldn't want to get punched by those hands. Seriously, Nekumaru is so wild, he's totally right, he's totally right at home in a country setting. I'm so jealous. My hometown near Aoyama and Azabu is a so wait, so wild country things like that. They slip in my mind a lot, you know? Uh. Yeah, I can't I can't fucking I can't I no. Well this I guess this meat has gone to waste since the awful this awful hap wait. This awfulness happened right when the party started. The only ones who got any food were Akane and Peko who took some portions for herself. Uh? Don't say that. After I worked so hard to cook the world's most refined party dishes, only two people actually tasted them? Well, it's not like I actually believe it, but if there really is a killer out there, I'll never be able to forgive that killer. He's really scary when he's mad. Yakuya must have confiscated all the dangerous item items on the kitchen's equipment list. Hmm. Well, just from reading through all the, through this list, it looks like the knife next wait the knife next to Yakuya's body didn't come from the kitchen. It appears to have brought from the outside. From outside? Then how did the killer get past Yakuya's body check? Strange, isn't it? I mean, he didn't even go easy on the girls when he was performing the pat downs. If that's the case, they probably brought the knife in advance and hid it somewhere. Hmm. Still, it's surprising how much equipment this kitchen has. There are iron plates for barbecuing, and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. But all this stuff is all this is stuff that doesn't pertain to the murder, so I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I agree. Let me talk with this bitch. <sighs> Since we've come all this way, let's investigate this area just for the heck of it. There's a chance there might be some sort of clue here. I, I already knew that, that's why I'm going. Hey, were you in the kitchen during the blackout, Terror? <laughs> that blackout totally startled me. At first I thought it was just the kitchen, but when I finally man managed to get out of the kitchen, the hallway was pitch black too. And then I heard everybody's voices, so I fumbled along the wall and tried to feel my way to the dining hall. But that place was pitch black too. It was like pitch black everywhere. Did you ever use that kitchen stove as a light? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, that's impossible. This gas stove needs electricity to work, so it was directly affected by the blackout. I see, then I guess it's not possible. Since you work with fire in the kitchen, I figured you'd be able to use it as a light source or something, but I guess it's not that easy. Um, I guess I'm pretty much finished investigating the kitchen for now. Now you do, let's get going. Yeah, sure thing. Honestly, I I hate Teru Teru, but I love doing his voice. It's it's I it's incredible. I love it. I love doing his voice. You know, his voice is very very, you know, mm. very specific. True, he is. Hmm. How come Yakia was able to say something like that in the darkness? Like, what the hell? What's going on here? Or this is. It makes me wonder. 
could do a good voice for him. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> the storage room is really dusty and dark. <laughs> My hands were full cleaning the dining hall, so I couldn't even touch this room. It even has cobwebs, there's no way I could stay in here for a long time. Huh? Are these irons? It looks like they were recently turned on, but why are there three irons on this ironing board? Mm. Just as I thought, your eyes don't miss a thing. When I was looking for Byakuya after the blackout, I also found these irons, but... I found When I found them, all three of them were turned on. Turned on? Mm. It'd be bad if another blackout happened, so I turned them off. But doesn't this feel kind of sinister? Sinister. There's an awful lot of boxes. We don't have something, whatever. I, I was trying to click on this thing. Not the boxes. There's a huge piece of clothing randomly shoved in here. Is this a tablecloth? Oh, a tablecloth? Wait, huh? Hold on, there's something on it. Is this a blood stain? Yeah, a blood stain. Yep. Lamp, you are making a good point. It's too dark, I can't really see that closely. I mean, clearly, Jesus Christ. There's no mistaking it, this is clearly a blood, a blood stain, which means this tablecloth is connected to the murder, right? <sighs> if that tablecloth has a blood stain on it, then it's a possibility. Seriously, it is a blood stain! <laughs> hey, Hajime, how much longer are you gonna stay in this dark place? You're just wasting your time. Let's move on and investigate other places already. Hmm? Oh, oh, I get it, you're right. Are you sure? Are you sure? I wanna, I wanna know, I wanna know more. I wanna know more about this room. This room seems sus. Sussy sus. Sus room. The entire room was sus. Huh? It's locked. <sighs> Someone appears to be inside. Since this is a unisex ba bathroom, I don't know who's actually in there. Hey, is someone in there? We knocked on the door and tried calling out to whoever was on the other side, but... Hmm. There's no response. This is going nowhere. I guess we should give up for now and check, in. check on it later. Yeah, you're right. Office. The old building circuit breaker should be inside this office. Circuit breaker, huh? It might be related to the blackout. So it's better if we check the check out the circuit breaker first. Oops, I didn't mean to click that, but okay. I can already tell. You doubt me, correct? Huh? However, it does not surprise me. An unexpected blackout occurred, and during that time, Byakuya was killed. The circuit breaker is in this office. Naturally, I would look suspicious since I was supposed to be here. Okay. Supposed to be here? Does that mean... So I was right, you weren't in the office. But why? Weren't you supposed to guard the circuit breaker and the Duralumen case with all the weapons in it? Huh? So where'd you run off to on your own? Yeah. Well, that is... Uh... Mm. Pico suddenly dropped on one knee and started running on the spot. Hey, what happened? N no, I'm just not feeling too well. Apologize. I apologize, but excuse me. Excuse me, what was that? Pico appears. Wait. Pico, it appears the bathroom inside this old building is currently occupied, so. I recommend either the hotel lobby or your cottage. Huh? It seems like it would be a tough path. With cold sweat dripping from her forehead, Pekka wobbled out of the office. W what happened to her? <laughs> uh, it's kind of hard for me to say it myself. I already feel bad enough for Pekka as it is. Huh? What does that mean? Huh? I mean, is it cool? They didn't like run away or something. Because if she ran away, she's obviously the killer. I'm almost positive. Mm, is that really what it is? This remote control is for the air is for the office's air conditioner. Huh? Hi, Sincelli. How are you? I'm not poisoned her, so she is indisposed. 
I mean, Lamp, your theories are going wild, and I love it. Keep, keep going. How are you doing, Sinchili? Thank you for showing up. The timer here is set for 11.30 p.m. Wasn't the timer for the air conditioning in the dining hall also set for that time? It can't be a coincidence, right? Hey, where did Pekka go? She looked pretty pale. <laughs> mm, if she made it, then I'm sure she's fine. Beyond that, it'd be improper for me to say. Huh? Alrighty then. This is Duralumin case. It should contain all the dangerous items Byakuya collected. Mm. Well, maybe we should check inside, just to be safe. But it's locked. <laughs> Byakuya had the key to this particular jewel lumen case with him. Check it out, I brought it with me so there's no need to worry. Hey, is it okay to take that key without permission? <laughs> it's forbidden to tamper with the crime scene, but if we don't, we can't check inside this case, right? <laughs> so I should open it. This guy, he doesn't feel any remorse. <laughs> See, it's open. Forks, kitchens, wait, kitchen knives, iron skewers, and various tools are crammed inside. But it's not possible that the killer took anything from here, because the key to this case was inside the other case that Byakuya had with him. I guess you're right about that. Hey, isn't Peko the killer? Why do you think that? Well, she wandered off somewhere, even though she was supposed to be in the office. When we were looking for Byakuya after the blackout, I went to the office right away, but when I got here, she was gone. Yeah. I shouldn't say this too loudly or else Miss Sonia will yell at me. Oh. Echo is probably the one who tripped the circuit breaker and used the, the blackout to her advantage to kill Byakuya. And don't you think she looks kind of ruthless too? Like an assassin, right? Well, it's not like you look any better. Fucking... <laughs> you got burned, dude. Where the fuck is the circuit breaker? Oh, that thing up there. I'm blind. That must be this old, old building circuit breaker. The blackout probably happened because of this. Hmm. It doesn't look like any, like someone did anything to it. Nothing else looks suspicious either. Lamp. Well, fuck you. The circuit breaker is pretty high up. Even if you were to use a step step ladder, you wouldn't reach it. Mm. Yeah, I totally agree. That's why it's so mysterious. Well, during the blackout, I was panicking so bad that I forgot about that. But you're right. Even with a step ladder, there's no way you'd be able to reach that circuit breaker. Which means someone must have reset the breaker after the blackout. But who? Yeah, yeah. I did it. <laughs> Whoa, it's here. Idiots had no idea what to do about the blackouts. I'm the one who reset the circuit breaker. <laughs> Fucking calling it people idiots like that. I love it. <laughs> uh, by the way, I'm not the one who tripped the breaker. The killer did that, of course. But how did someone as small as you reset the breaker? Well, firstly, my eyes work real good at night, so I have no trouble seeing in the dark. How did Monokuma reach? He's even shorter than them. Well, he's like, he's about to explain it. And if you want to know how I reach the circuit breaker, my body stretches. You know, I'm very elastic. Good liar! I'm serious, wanna see? Wanna see a version of Monokuma with his body all stretched out? It's gross, so grotesque. <laughs> no thanks, just imagining it makes me wanna puke. Oh really, such a shame. Still, I don't think- wait, don't you think Monokuma is such a nice- such a nice guy? In popularity- in a popularity contest, he'd take first place. I wanna see it too, honestly. <laughs> what the hell? So he's the one who reset the breaker? Well, in that case, I'm convinced. There's no way we'd be able to reach that. If that's the case, how did the killer trip the circuit breaker? If they didn't trip it or set it to be tripped? So now then, I guess we're done with the office, don't you think so? We should get going now. <laughs> true, true. Okay, it looks like you've gotten pretty much finished looking around the old building. So how about we check out Byakuya's cottage? Byakuya's cottage? 
There might be clues there, so I thought it'd be a good, a good idea to check it out just in case. But I was scared I might encounter some danger if I went there by myself. Well, I don't really mind going there together, but aren't you worried about the possibility that I might beat that danger? <laughs> you mean, am I worried about you being the killer? <laughs> to be honest, I don't think you're the killer. In fact, I can't even imagine it. It's like, instead of living with doubt in others, it's so much better to die believing in others. Don't talk like that. We're doing this so we can live, you know? No, As I thought, you sure are strong. You're definitely a chosen one. Chosen by Hope's Peak Academy. Yes. Alright, let's get going to Byakuya's cottage. Yeah. I don't know why, but every time we talk, I don't really know how I'm supposed to react. The moment I left behind the old building, there was a strange scene unfolding before me. <笑>何やってんだ、だと。はあ、それを愚問と言うんだよ。床下に。どうしてだよ。無駄だと誰が言った無理だと誰が決めた。あのイヤリングを掴めるとどうしてわかる床下に入れるかどうかによって、あの
I will most assuredly reclaim this hellhound earring with my own two hands. It seems he has no intention of investigation. Investigating, whatever, I can't speak words. Words dead. The killer is the one who killed the person. You, you make a good point. What the hell? Didn't they tell you to leave me alone? That's not happening. Didn't you hear Monokuma's announcement? Of course I did. Apparently Byakuya is the one who got killed. So what? What did you say? You think I'm the killer? Think whatever you want. I'm used to being misdirected. That's not why I'm... Whatever, just tell me what you were doing while everyone else was at the party. Huh? Umph? Checking my alibi, eh? <laughs> well, I don't have one. I was just chilling in my cottage all by myself during that time. The whole time? Because Jackie said she saw you in the front of the building. <laughs> Nosy bitch. Yeah, it's true, I went for a little walk. And then just by chance, I ended up passing by the old building. Were you really going for a walk? Don't tell me you were actually trying to join the party. Why the hell would I do that? It's a coincidence. It's a coincidence. <laughs> Alright, I got it. <laughs> Dumbass. Okay. <laughs> you look a little bit worse for wear. Huh, it's locked. I guess we need to ask him for help. <laughs> nice lamp. And so Nakita took a deep breath. Why? Hey, Monokuma! Yay, did you call me? <laughs> Nagito, when did you train Monokuma? Hmm. Hey, Monokuma, I was wondering if you could do us a favor. There's something we want to investigate. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Hey, who are you talking to? This is just my afterimage. <laughs> when I get serious, my afterimage is unleashed. I can even play soccer by myself as long as I have this cloning technique. Though it'd be boring to play alone. I don't have time for this. Just hurry up and open Byakuya's cottage already. Oh, man. This is for the class trial. It's something we really need. Mm -hmm. For the class trial? Hmm. If it's for the class trial, there's no way I can refuse. Uh. Oops. I keep pressing caps lock on accident. Now then, the only one there's only one spell that can open these doors. Valus! See, I have unlocked the door. Now you can investigate to your heart's content. Why does it open with a magical spell? It's probably powered by electricity. At any rate, that performance was a waste of time. I I, I see. I guess we should go inside then. Yeah, I guess you're right. Envelope. There's an envelope on the table. Is it a letter someone sent to Byakuya? There's no sender. That looks pretty suspicious. Hajime, you should you should check what's inside. Yeah, you're right. Let's see. Huh? Be careful. The first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. This is... Is this... A crime warning? No, if it says be careful, it's probably a threatening letter. Regardless, who would send something like this? Maybe... This is why Byakuya suddenly decided to throw a party. Huh? The first kill will happen tonight, because someone made this threat to Byakuya gathered everyone in one area and was extremely cautious about all the dangerous items. He was trying to create a scenario in which everyone wait, which everyone could monitor each other. He thought that if he did that, nobody would be able to kill anyone. So he believed this crazy letter? He couldn't ignore the possibility of it happening, even if it was just a worst case scenario. Remember what Byakuya said? I uh, kept saying how he wouldn't let anyone become the victim? He couldn't overlook that slim possibility just to keep his promise? Then why did he keep it a secret if he had just told us? Mm. He probably couldn't. He probably thought that was also a worst case scenario. What do you mean? Mm. If everyone knew what was in this letter, whether it's a lie or not, everyone would have likely begun to doubt each other and at that point there would be no turning back. So Byakuya tried to do something about this all by himself, without telling anybody? 
A strong sense of responsibility is the only explanation I can think of. Anyway, whoever sent this Byapia this letter is also the person who killed him, is that what you're saying? Oh, yeah. No, this could be a prank and it might have nothing to do with Byapia's death at all. Hmm, what was that? You suddenly became really quiet. I see, he doesn't want to believe one of us could be the killer. But still, we've come all this way here and it's the only one, only thing I can think of. The person who wrote this letter mur murdered Byapia. If that's the case, that person completely predicted how Byakia would react once he received it, right? They planned to manipulate Byakia and kill them right before our eyes in the old building. Damn it, who the hell would do that? <sighs> Hajime, there's probably not much time left until the class trial starts. Probably. <laughs> now, which reminds me, you asked Mahiro for a favor earlier, right? Yeah, I wanted her to find out where everybody was standing just before the blackout. It's probably finished by now. Are you coming with me? Oh, yeah. Sorry, that's all you. Huh? I need some time alone. I'd like some time to collect my thoughts. I I see. I understand. Mm. Also, if you're going back to the old building, you should hear what Mikan has to say as well. Sorry, sorry, one second. I think the results of her autopsy should be ready by now. I'll see you later. Weirdo. Now it's not the time for me to worry about Nagito. There isn't much time left. I better hurry up to the old building. Window. Wait, what the fuck? Where am I? <laughs> I got turned around. Hello. <laughs> oh yeah, I might as well ask her about the old building's windows. Hey, do you have a second? I want to ask you something. I don't want. I don't want to help you guys mistrust your friends. But what the hell? It's not like we're doing this because we want to. No, now it's not the time to to fight about stuff like that. More importantly, do you know why the old building's windows are covered by iron plates? Huh? Iron plates. I covered them up so nobody makes the mistake of going inside since it's dangerous because of the renovation. I see, the renovation, so that's why you covered them up. Because it's really dangerous to go inside, danger isn't supposed to exist on this island. This isn't how it was supposed to be. But why did it get like this? It's cruel, too cruel. Just because it's cruel doesn't mean you can just keep crying like that. We have to do this no matter what. Yeah, true, 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 true. <laughs> but what the? What the hell was that loud, loud voice just now? Mm. I feel so light, light-hearted right now. <laughs> I, Nekumaru Nidai, has been reborn. I have no intention of losing anymore. Losing to who? I won't lose any to anyone, not even to my past self. That sounds cool and all, but what are you talking about? <laughs> Shit! What? I don't know any- I don't know who was behind it, but someone tried to make a shitty bastard out of me. Some scoundrel was occupying the bathroom before the party was about to start. Why don't you mention it? You said something like that shortly after the party started. I've been trying to use it many times, but the door just won't open at all. <laughs> However, if you think about if you think I'd be angered by something like that, you've underestimated my nerve and patience. <gasps> Do all and achieve all with a, with one's presence of mind. That's the goal of a true leader. In other words, a leader must never falter in any situation, but always have the presence of one's mind. He says that, but I'm pretty sure you were shaken up by that whole ordeal. Oh well, best not get into it. Anyway, so you're saying that the bathroom door was shut from before the party started to after the blackout? And... Wait. And the the bathroom was finally unoccupied after Byakuya's body was found. Welcome back, Natori. That's about how long it That's about how long that lasted. At least that sounds stupid and irrelevant, but I should remember it just in case.
Fuchs learned a new word. Lou. Hi, Jackie. Mm, just as I thought, it seems there was no way to get under the floor from inside this old building. Maybe... That's just as Nagito said. If that's the case, I guess I should give up on finding Gundam's earring. Hey, you're here! What the hell did you want? Where the hell did you wander off to? I wasn't wandering, I was investigating as much as I could. I see, well if you weren't sliding off, then I guess it's fine. So, did you find anything? Mm. Yeah, sorta. You don't sound too sure. Nah. Well, just take a look at this. <sighs> just as you told me, using the two photos I took before the blackout, I tried to pinpoint where everyone was standing. When I did this, the di this diagram was the result. So this is so this is everyone standing position before the blackout. Everyone's pretty much in the dining hall. Um, I like looking at this. I've made this diagram from analyzing those photos, so I'm pretty sure it's accurate. Just as I thought, Gakuya was standing a far distance from the table. That's impossible. There's no way he'd be able to move that far during the blackout. Uh, what's this line extending from the table where Byakuya was killed? <sighs> um, it's the desk lamp. I drew a power cord for it. For it, just in case. The power cord for the desk lamp? If that cord is extending from the table where Byakuya was killed, that means... <sighs> so, did you find something? Hmm, it's not clear to me yet, but... Mm. I guess you're right. I didn't really understand it myself when I was drawing it. I have a feeling that it's either a potential clue or just a waste of labor. No, it wasn't a waste at all. Mm hmm? That's not clear to me yet, but there's no mistake that the clue is hidden there. An extremely important clue. And... Lamp's mind wanders off. Um, if you'd like, I can tell you a little bit of what I want to say. Did you find out anything? Um, I tried within reason to perform an autopsy on Byakuya's body. And I discovered that there were several punctured wounds around Byakuya's chest and abdominal region. Deep wounds deep enough to reach his lungs and internal organs. Lamp, please. You're smarter than this, you should know what's going on right now. It can be assumed that a very thin, sharp object around 5mm in diameter was used to stab him over and over again, which is what I believe. Are you okay? I'm sorry, talking about it made me sad. No need to push yourself. I mostly get the gist of what you wanted to say. I'm sorry. Still, around 5 millimeters in diameter, huh? Isn't that pretty thin? It's as thin as an ice pick or an awl. Lamp, come on. The little diagram wasn't enough for you to trip off everything? I thought you'd be like, oh yeah, the diagram makes me wonder about 15 million different things. Because, I mean, it makes sense. But at the same time, it's like, you know... You didn't look at the diagram! You idiot! I even said- I read it out loud, it said diagram and shit. Oh god, I can't even look at the, the diagram anymore. I, I'll look it up after stream and I'll send it to you. <laughs> because honestly, I think you'd be like, wow. This gives me so much information, blah blah blah. Monokuma 
What would you guys have as your preferred um, talent if you were in this game? Mounting with a carving of Ma Monokuma's face at the central island? For me, honestly, I'd love to have the look talent. That would be my favorite. <laughs> Especially the way that, you know, they implement it in some of the games. Natori, no, shut up. Also, no, I don't think so. Musician. Oh yeah, that makes sense, since, since you do that stuff all the time. Your music. Because these, these ultimates are smart. You're, you, no, I don't... Is that your talent? What is that emote? Hold on, let me, let me hover over it. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> cute emote, cute emote. There we go. Wait, how many steps are there still left for me to take with this thing? Quite a bit, but I do want to give it one more present because why not? Shut up! Shut up! Can I? Hello? I can't do anything. Okay, I had to press tab. Jesus Christ, I was scared. <clears throat> huh? Hey, what the heck is that mountain? When did that get here? Never mind that. How did they even make a moon? Mountain shaped like Monokuma. The story, the story might be true after all. There might be an enormous organization in involved in all this. You mean what Byakuya said before, right? Byakuya, we still needed his knowledge. <laughs> I still can't believe he's dead. <laughs> what happened to Gundam and Fuyuhiko? Now that you mention it, it appears they aren't here yet. I know, they probably ran away. Oh hell no, there's no way I let them escape, you know? Look, I dragged one back over here. I'm telling you, let me go! Hey, now, if you keep acting violent, I might just eat you. Hey, Fuyuhiko, what were you doing all this time? Huh? Nothing, I wasn't really doing anything. I was just chilling in my room when I suddenly heard that fat bastard got killed. Who the fuck's cares about that? <laughs> I can't speak. <laughs> Who the fuck cares about that anyway? You, how can you say something so irresponsible? We've been doing our best to investigate this murder, even though we don't want to, just to survive. <laughs> Mahiru, that's enough. You too, Fuyuhiko. Dumbass. And we're waiting for Gundam? I am right here. Remember this well, a main character arrives when he intends to. Huh? It seems you know this too. If I did, then I'm right. Alright, now that everyone's all together, let's take the secret entrance to the trial field. Please, wait a second! My my, Monami, what are you doing here? Nobody asked for you. I, I, I... Do you actually want to join in? You want to taste how power powerless you are at the class trial? You're an even bigger masochist than I thought. Oh well, I'm a big brother who dotes on his little sister. I shall allow you special participation. 
I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys to hurry over. He, he told us to come in, but how do we get there? Oh, thank you, Spooks. I don't see any doors or vehicles. You mentioned something about a secret entrance, was it? Secret entrance? What the? Something's shaking? This is dangerous, everyone please get down. Whoa, Jesus. So something came out? Could it be... Is he telling us to enter it? So such so suspicious aura! Even the Crimson Steel Elephant Magazi is trembling with fear. Wow, oh, that's totally a suspicious. Lying on the picture besides the table. What do you mean? Oh. Forgive me. Seriously, I just forgive me already. <laughs> hey, why don't we just stop here? I mean, none of this is real anyway. Like, not even remotely. <laughs> There's no way. There's just no way we'll find a killer. Complaining won't get us anywhere. If you're really a man, then man up for God's sake. We've come this far, we have no choice but to keep moving forward. You're right, there's nowhere for us to run. We need to do it. Mm. If that's anyone's, everyone's decision, I'll just follow you guys. Mm. If this were a video game, I'd have a very high difficulty level. Let's do our best to clear the game. Shaking with fear and nervousness, I hesitantly lift my, lifted my feet and stepped onto the escalator. I won't think anymore. If I think, I'll run away. All I could do was stare upwards intensely as the escalator carried me. When each of us entered the Monokuma Rock. This is an elevator. I see this entire rock is an elevator. Once again, Monokuma is doing what he pleases. However, if he's gonna... If, it's, if he's gone this far, I made mean, something like this, I don't think he's playing around. Mm. Even so, we're going pretty deep. You're right. I heard an unnerving chattering sound in my head. I soon realized it was the sound of my teeth. All I could do was purse my lips tightly so everyone else couldn't hear it. Scaredy cat. Imagine being scared in this game. There were we, listening to unpleasant roars as the elevator plunged deeper and deeper into the earth. Some time passed before the elevator finally finished descending, and then the elevator door slowly opened. Okay, welcome! This is the class trial field, how do you like it? It's a special place that will decide your fate. Gosh, what the hell is he thinking? Locking us in a shitty looking place like this? Are you fucking crazy? Don't mess with me, asshole. Complain all you like? I'm used to it by now. Come on, you're wasting your time and energy. Hurry up and take your seats where your names are written. Looks like everyone knows, even if we try to resist, it won't change the thing. This is Monokuma order, we walked over towards the seats we had been assigned. At this point, we need to find out who, the, who killed Byakuya. The ultimate affluent progeny, Byakuya Togami, was overly critical, arrogant, and con condescending, but he also had a strong sense of responsibility. As we were panicking, he accepted his role as a leader and tried his very best to keep us together. A guy like him got murdered. And the person who did it was one of us. I can't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. But if it's really true, we need to find out by any means possible, because that's our only option. There's no way for us to survive unless we sacrifice the killer. And so, this life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair has begun. But not really, because it's going to be for next time. Oh god.
<laughs> Holy shit, okay. Is there any way I can leave? Oh yeah, I can open the handbook. I'm saving again. Because I am paranoid, and then I'm going to the main menu. Oh, okay. Let's wait. <laughs> oh boy, indeed. Let me go to my room real quick. And press the quit game button. Here I am. Hi, hi, hi. Let me turn around. face look forward please I should be fine whatever it's okay <laughs> thank you thank you for watching everybody I'm going to look if I can raid someone that I know hmm There is no one online that I know. <laughs> Crap. I might have to go looking around. Um... Hmm. To end. Oh no. Oh no. No. Okay. Fine. 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 I have to do it myself because, you know, the thing is not on the music. Is it this one? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> you get what you get what you want every time. It's unbelievable speech. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna have to look for someone to raid because I wanna raid every single stream. I don't wanna skip a raid. So let's see. I'm not rapping this. Uh, I mean, I can put in a bonus Pusset mode. Pusset Desuwa. Here, this is with someone with a different voice that I like. Oh wait, literally just someone that I wanted to raid that I like is on- is just- just went live. That's good. Here you go. Different voice, I love her. <laughs> I love this virgin more. <laughs> I love this. I love this so much. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm going to be raiding Cat Candy now. Um, 
she used to be in Yumi Life, um, but she hasn't left me, so, I mean, she kind of has, she kind of hasn't, um, we never were really close in the first place, but, I mean, at least we were closer than the person that I was going to rate before, uh, maybe this will kind of help her out too, I'm not sure, I don't think so, it's only two viewers, maybe, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to go to the ending soon screen, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you so much. Bye!